introduced me to Uncle Roger like what two or three months ago it was the first yeah, time like a month and a half and he was going in on people Jamie Oliver how they made their what Ross yeah um I don't remember her name I'm not familiar with her but there was a uh, a woman that like a famous chef like a like a British chef on a TV show I'm sure if you are familiar with Uncle Roger you know exactly what I'm talking about but she made Ross in a very unconventional manner and he went in on her. He went ham. And then he went in on Jamie Oliver and then he tried to go in on Gordon Ramsay but he was like, oh, Gordon Ramsay knows what the fuck is up. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I am a fan of cooking shows. Well, somebody called him out. Uh, Uncle Roger? Yeah. Somebody called him out. So that's what this whole video we're about to watch is about. <laughs> this YouTuber challenges... Oh, challenge Uncle Roger, Joshua Weissman. All right. So let's see what uh, Uncle Roger has in store for this fella who's brave okay. enough to jump in the ring with the, the mighty Uncle Roger. This YouTuber, Joshua Weissman, he think he can make Uncle Roger fried rice better. Hiya. If you know Uncle Roger, you know he's a pretty good judge of fried rice. And he just released his own fried rice recipe. And some might say it's a perfect recipe, but I know we can make it better. Really? He Ooh. don't even look like chef. He look more like guy who own more Bitcoin than friend. Can he make Uncle Roger fire rice better? Uncle Roger be the judge of that. Niece and nephew, Uncle Roger U2's figurine is now oh. live. Put this little Uncle Roger on your U2's. desk and people yeah. know you're good at making rice. Go buy it now. Link in description. They even have free international shipping. That right, they ship this to you for free. Postmen don't even get paid. Go buy this figurine now. Because once this design sold out, then no more this design. So let's begin. For the record, I actually love Uncle Roger. I've watched him multiple times and I find him very entertaining. Oh, thank you, thank you, nephew Joshua. He even dressed up like me for you. But his orange polo, not the same as Uncle Roger orange polo. I just get from random shop, but his orange polo have that little man on horse logo. Let's see where he get it from. Hi, uh, 85 pound for polo. He think money go on tree, so expensive. Who he think he is? Uncle Roger can buy that little little man on horse for three pound and iron on shirt and see he also wearing rolex what is this is this egg fire rice video or fashion show double onioning this one all right i respect that Ooh. when he chopped that green onion his hand was like this and he was just like <sighs> don't worry uncle roger single very confident in my right hand <laughs> <laughs> sorry children the book. Yes, all by the book. He sauteed his veg, soften, eggs go in. But it's almost all. Look at this, the headphone not even plugged in. He just giving the illusion of listening. Just wow. like me in my previous marriage. We have the data that we need. Uncle Roger, that's a good looking fried rice. Now, I do think that we can do better. Before we can even start making your fried rice, you need, well, rice. It must be leftover cold rice. Correct, correct. Cooked. With that said, let's talk about how to cook your rice. Uncle Roger is correct. The holy grail of rice cookery is a beautiful rice cooker. <gasps> Is Uncle Roger hallucinating? This is first white guy with rice cooker. <laughs> Uncle Roger impressed because he using same brand of rice cooker as Uncle Roger. If this one, the Soji Rushi baby elephant pan. If Uncle Roger go to your house and I see you have baby elephant rice cooker, I know your rice gonna be good. But this rice cooker may be too expensive for some niece and nephew. Damn. If niece and nephew poor, just buy random $25 rice cooker and then get Soji Rushi when you have your shit together. <laughs> this is my Soji Rushi and the link will be in the description. To make the rice, place a nice medium uh. grain white... <gasps> Colander. Colander. Rice in a metal sieve, set over a bowl, fill it up with water, toss. Okay, okay. He just using colander to wash rice, not to drain rice like BBC food. This one, okay. 
but look at him. So much equipment just to wash rice. Uncle Roger, I just washed my rice in rice cooker bowl. No need extra equipment to wash rice, hiya. Place it in a rice cooker and add roughly equal parts of water. This was two cups of medium grain, so I used about two cups of filtered water. But you can always use the finger test. Ah, he used finger, used finger, not bad. Now close the lid, start the rice cooker, dance to the song of its people. Uncle Roger, rice cooker, sing the same song also. See? Before K-pop, this is all Uncle Roger listened to rice cooker pop. <laughs> For our fried rice sauce, get a small bowl, add a one inch knob of galangal that's been finely grated, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of Malaysian sambal, three cloves of finely chopped garlic, one tablespoon of sweet soy sauce, and one and a half tablespoons of double aged soy sauce. This sauce look good better than cowboy can't secret sauce. Ingredient Ooh. all correct, but why he measuring everything high? One tablespoon of one teaspoon of three cloves of one and a half tablespoons. I think he have to learn from Uncle Roger, favorite chef, Chef One. When you're a great chef, you don't measure things, we just throw. Nephew Joshua, just throw, measure this, measure that, so anal. And he washed rice with that special colander machine equipment thing, hi -ya. Now you have 25 more things you have to wash up. I think this Joshua guy, Never clean his own kitchen. He like torturing his cleaner. Now we have another important thing to do before we make our fried rice. But first let me show you my walks. Gordon might have two walks, but I have three walks. For you, like Uncle Gordon. Nephew Joshua is walk fuck boy also. Hmm. I hope he more faithful to his girlfriend oh. than to his walk. Fill it with about three cups of vegetable oil and your shallots and begin constantly stirring with chopsticks. And as soon as your shallots begin to reach a golden brown, immediately remove them from the oil and those are your fried shallots. Now, Uncle Roger think this crunchy texture go well with egg fried rice. Give it good mouth feel. Now, let's finish this bad boy off. Get your most beautiful, big, juicy wok. He talk about wok so sexual. Beautiful, big, juicy. Juicy. I think this nephew Joshua turned on by his walk more than he turned on by his girlfriend. I wonder how their relationship is. Nephew Joshua, do you use finger tests on your girlfriend also? <laughs> Drizzle in three tablespoons of vegetable oil and begin heating over medium high. Swirl God. the oil around your wok and keep heating. He's seasoning the, the wok. Good. Swirl it around you again. supposed then to pour your oil out. From there, I added three and a half tablespoons of cold smoked duck fat. Cold smoked duck fat. Fui yo. So fancy. You literally just take some rendered out duck fat, place it in a small bowl, wrap it in plastic wrap, insert a tube of a cold smoke gun, such as a Breville. A Nephew Joshua just flexing on us right now. First the little man on horse polo, then the Rolex, then the cold smoke gun. Hiya. Who this cooking video for? Billionaire people. Uncle Roger didn't know I have to own a yacht to watch this video. I think he made so much money from all the Bitcoin he bought. Wrap it in plastic wrap, insert a tube of a cold smoke gun, such as- And the way he loading this smoke gun, I can tell nephew Joshua smoked weed before. And let it sit for five minutes and repeat until it's as smoky as you like it. Maybe a little overboard, but just trust Papa. Anyway, heat that over medium high heat. Add in four cloves of thinly sliced garlic, two finely diced shallots, two finely Shallot, diced red good chilies. These chili, are red good, fresh correct, chilies, correct. And two green onions, which have been finely Oh, green onion. So soon, Uncle Roger like green onion as garnish. But at least he not putting green onion first thing into pan like Jamie Oliver. And stir fry over medium heat until all of your vegetables are beautifully softened and... Okay, look like the green onion not wilting. Good, good. This one, okay. Crack two to three large eggs, whisk them together till homogenized, then add them to your stir fried vegetables. Add three and a half to four cups of already cooked cold rice. Then add two teaspoons of ground white pepper and two teaspoons of, you guessed it, Mmm, that is the most beautiful sight. You see the waterfall of MSG go into the rice. Fuyo, so nice. When Uncle Roger go to therapy, and they asked me to think of my happy place. This is it. But again, nephew Joshua, don't need measure. Just sprinkle, just sprinkle. Two teaspoons of <laughs> What is with this teaspoon, tablespoon, half cup bullshit? You're making egg fried rice, not developing vaccine for COVID. 
No neat mashup. <laughs> Toss it all together, turn off the heat, and finally grab some strawberry jam what? and. That's a joke. That's a joke, all right? Phew. Uncle Roger thought he all stepped correct so far, but then suddenly joined the dark side with Jamie Oliver and his chili jam. <sighs> Almost gave Uncle Roger a heart attack. Not gonna make that mistake. <laughs> Don't just throw spoon, throw out the whole bottle of jam also. Instead, add your fried rice sauce from earlier. Stir and toss that together until evenly good, distributed. Good. And then just pop your fried rice onto a nice plate. Hit it with your incredibly quippy fried shallots, some thinly sliced green ah, onion. Ah, green onion as garnish again. That correct? That good? So he double green onion. Not bad. That we taste test this. Okay, so what we saw, how that video went. This looks pretty good. Spoon. Correct, correct. In Asia, many people, we eat rice with spoon. Uncle Roger don't know why in Western country, so many people eat rice with fork. They use fork to scoop up rice. Fork for poking, not scooping. You want to scoop, you use spoon. Use right tool for right purpose. Do you also use hair dryer to blow leaf? Hi, uh, niece and nephew. If rice in bowl, eat with chopstick. If rice in plate, Eat with spoon. If rice in Jamie Oliver kitchen, throw it out. <laughs> Woo! The MSG in this really hits. It hits different. You got the. Of course, you eating salt on crack. Of course, it hit. This is one of the more deeply flavored fried rice that I've had. The one that Uncle Roger did looks very good, but it's also very basic in flavor. This is intense. It's <laughs> layered. It's got many, many layers of flavor. Uncle Roger, I want to know how did I do? This egg fried rice, so many steps, got deep frying, got cold smoked duck fat. Take too long. If you have hungry kid and you make Joshua egg fried rice, he starved to death. Uncle Roger fried rice, basic, but you can do in 10 minutes. So simple. This fried rice, so much more work, but taste wise, Uncle Roger have to admit, it probably tastes better. It already has good wok hay but smoked duck fat give it even more smoky flavor and many different texture with the crunch. It has two types of spring onion, raw and cooked. Hmm, Uncle Roger approve. Uncle Roger will call him Uncle Joshua. But I know he also like to be called Papa. Papa no like. Papa keys. Papa's favorite cheat code, trust Papa. But Papa Joshua sound a bit sexual. <laughs> I just feel bad for his cleaner. Need to clean up 45 different measuring bowl. If you could chef, next time just throw random shit in pan. Because if you measure so many things, too many things to clean, people see your recipe. They don't want to cook it. Not everybody can afford cleaner and Rolex like you. You wanna know what else is full of perfectly cooked rice and beautiful long-haired men? B-roll. Hip-hop is best music for egg fire rice. <laughs> so stupid. Don't worry, Uncle Roger single. Very confident in my right hand. Oh shit. <laughs> my phone just fell from the job. This is like industrial grade bong. Are you trying to get duck fat high? Why are you hotboxing the duck fat? <laughs> Peanut oil, because Uncle Roger loved to kill all the weak peanut allergy people. Little peanut allergy. Imagine just seeing a peanut on the table and you're just afraid for your life. You're like... Ha ha ha, this nephew Joshua so funny. That is how Uncle Roger feel when I see Auntie Helen in public. I think this guy turned on by walk more than he turned on by his girlfriend. I hope he used finger tests on her also. <laughs> so dirty, oh my god. Sorry, Joshua's girlfriend. This nephew Joshua is so rich. Who your target audience? People who cook on yacht. First the Ralph Lauren, then the Rolex, then the smoke gun. Is this like keeping up with the Kardashian? You making egg fire rice, not developing vaccine for COVID. You don't... <laughs> I think it's really cute. The material feels really premium. And yeah, support the channel, click the link, go buy one of these. I feel like we just got Rogered. I've only watched like three or four videos of his. 
Um, and I've never heard him break character. Yeah, ever. right. It was weird hearing him do his normal voice. Yeah, I was like, I mean, obviously, I know he puts on. Yeah. But, like, he sounds totally like a different person. Yeah. So, what the fuck is with this guy's... Right, who was going to make rice like that? I mean, really? if you're trying if, to beat Uncle Roger, well, then I guess... Well, if you're trying to be a chef in, like, some high-class restaurant where they've got all this, but nobody's just going to... I kind of thought that Uncle Roger was going to recreate it and then taste uh, it. Oh. Yeah. But that yeah. that would have taken a long time. So he, we just kind of reacted to his breakdown of somebody else's breakdown of his... <laughs> <laughs> multi multi layered situation here, but a cool That's video what we to do start here. out, right? Yeah, it's a good one to start watching. I like watching his videos. And so he went in on this one. I mean, he, he has given some inappropriate jokes that like teeter on the line, yeah. but this one he just went there all was in. No teetering. And I, I mean, I was very surprised. The finger test joke. That one was that one. Wow, beautiful. In Fine. fact, that's a real thing that a lot of people that I know are like, did you give her the finger test? That's what people... Because say. you check for odor that way. For bad, you know, you're ground in second base, and then you're just like... you. And then if you don't like it, just you like, just stop? Oh, man, my stomach hurts. I'm... <laughs> oh my God, that's a thing? Yes. Yes, it's a thing. Jesus Christ. Yep. Well, you learn something the new more you every know. day. So, Uncle Roger, you hit it out of the park. And, you know, you, you, you gave some respect to somebody who's trying really hard. You broke him down a little bit, but less harsh criticism. Dude, Jamie Oliver. Yeah, Jamie Oliver keeps murdered. getting marked. But, uh, yeah, Uncle Roger, go check him out. He's hilarious. I would assume he's a great cook. All of the shit that he makes looks good, mm -hmm. but it doesn't you know, translate through video into my taste buds. But, you know, maybe one day it will. Maybe you'll be popping up somewhere, cooking some crazy. food, and we can go eat Uncle Roger's food. That would be amazing. But it's going to be the end of this video, I believe. If, if you, you guys... Go, go ahead. ahead. Go. Nope. <laughs> what? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, uh, you go. Wait, no, I won, so you just go ahead. Oh, okay. If you have any videos that you want to see us react to, drop those in the comment section. If you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscription, hit that notification <laughs> bell. If you enjoyed Uncle Roger, obviously, I would think that you probably do, go watch his videos, subscribe to his channel, like his videos, because he is awesome. We appreciate him making that video so we could make this one. We'll see you guys next Bye. time.